Uh, welcome into our game day preview of the Butler Bulldogs. Target field this upcoming weekend. We're all fired up for college football. Jeff Colhane, Jeremy Jorgensen, and Jeremy, this Butler team, very, very well coached by head coach Jeff Voris. They were picked seventh of nine in the Pioneer Football League preseason poll, but this was a squad last year. They got off to a great, great start, and certainly we know about their success against Youngstown State to start the year last season. And we also know about San Diego, who's dominated the Pioneer Football League, a quality opponent, and uh, Butler's along those lines. And this is a fun, fun uh, opener for the Bison, I think. And, and Butler, they won't be intimidated. They've won big games before. Yeah, there's no question about that. On NDSU side, of course, everyone is interested in seeing number five, Trey Lance, taking snaps at that quarterback position, the redshirt freshman from Marshall, Minnesota. Plenty of Twin Cities uh, players that are going to be out there on target field. They're fired up about it. Phoenix Sproles is one of those guys, and he talks about the anticipation of this game. It's going to be huge. Uh, target field is a beautiful stadium. Uh, I've been there a couple times. Uh, Saw a couple good Twins games there, so I just can't wait to play and see what it's like to play on a baseball field. Well, you take a deep dive into the opponent, the Butler Bulldogs, and Jeremy, this is a young football team, much like the Bison themselves. 78 freshmen and sophomores on this team for Butler, 68 freshmen wow. on the roster for the Butler Bulldogs. So uh, Jeff Forrest has a lot of the same questions that I think Matt Entz has, looking for some young guys to step up. What are you expecting to see overall from them the way they play in this game on Saturday? Well, I think they're going to come out and try and take care of the football. They certainly can't turn it over and have the game get upside down on them early. So I think they're going to try to play smart. And, you know, they've recruited well. There's lots of talent in the program. This is an opportunity for them to develop some roles for the rest of their Pioneer Football League season. So I think they'll go conservative to start out, and I think they probably have to so it doesn't get sideways on them. Yep. Zach Johnson, Marquise Bridges here. Zach talking about the physicality of the Rams and also Marquise on the anticipation and what they're expecting from the Bulldogs as well. Well. Coach Roll has always hit a big point of physicality, and that's um, one thing that we've always had here, and it's been tradition throughout all the years. So that's one thing that probably will be molded into the program forever. But um, as uh, Coach Roll being the OC, I couldn't be more happier. It's awesome to have him back out there, and the traditions keep going on. Uh, they definitely had a lot of big plays. They got um, their receiver number four last year. It was crazy for them. And he definitely made a lot of plays. So we know they got big play opportunities, so it's up to us to stop him. Two names to watch on both sides of the ball for the Bulldogs. Sam Brown is a redshirt sophomore quarterback making his first start of his career. And their bell cow is going to be Brad Snyder, their running back. He has made some big plays for them in the running game on defense. Mason Brunner, Luke Sennett, two guys that have had a lot of opportunities to tackle ball carriers in their time in Indianapolis. Okay. In this contest, give me a key, Jeremy. What's important as far as your concern on the NDSU side with how they want to play against Butler on Saturday? I think two things. The Bison have to be efficient and they have to be clean. And then I think everything else falls into place. They have to dominate the game early, I think, to not give Butler any hope. That's really, really important. Yep. Can't wait to see you. Should be a fantastic weekend down in the Twin Cities at Target Field. And thank you for watching our game day preview of the Butler Bulldogs.